Introduction Sometime we need to use numbers with a negative sign. The most common area is while expressing temperature. In cold regions, the temperature goes below zero and is expressed as negative numbers. In this lesson, we will learn about collection of negative numbers, positive number and whole number that is also known as integers. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Define integers Explain integers on a number line Define ordering of integers Find addition and subtraction of integers Define addition and subtraction of integers on a number line Hello students! You already know about natural numbers and the whole numbers. If we put negative numbers and whole numbers together, the collection of numbers is known as integers. This figure represents a line marked with some points at equal distance. A point on it is marked as zero. Points to the right of zero are positive integers. Points to the left of 0 are negative integers and are marked minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and so on. This type of representation of integers is called the number line representation. Here to mark plus 2 on the number line, we move two points to the right of 0. Similarly, to represent minus 5, we move 5 points left of 0. Let us again observe the integers which are represented on the number line. We know that 9 is greater than 5 and on number line 4 points right of 5. Similarly, 5 is greater than 0 so placed right to it. Since 0 is to the right of minus 2, it is greater than minus 2. Again, Minus 2 is on the right of minus 7, so minus 2 is greater than minus 7. Thus, we see that on the number line, the bigger numbers are placed right and smaller at the left. Addition of two positive numbers. Example A boy is riding a ladder staircase. He goes six stairs up from the ground and halts for a while, then goes up four more stairs. How many stairs he goes up from the ground? Plus six plus plus four is equal to plus six plus four which equals plus ten. Addition of two negative numbers. Example, in a game you have to pick up any two pieces of paper on which a number is written. You have to add the numbers written on these two papers. Suppose you get minus 2 and minus 5. What is the result of addition of these two numbers? Minus 2 plus minus 5 is equal to minus 2 plus 5 which equals minus 7 addition of two integers example suppose in the above game you get the numbers plus 5 and minus 9 on the slips what is the sum plus 5 plus minus 9 which is equal to minus 4 Students, now we learn addition of two positive integers on a number line. If we add 6 and 4 on the number line, the first move 6 steps to the right from 0, reaching 6. And then we move 4 more steps to the right of 6 and reach 10. Thus we get 6 plus 4 is equal to 10. Let us add two negative numbers minus 5 and minus 4 on the number line. 
In this case, first we move 5 steps to the left of 0, reaching minus 5. And then, we move 4 steps to the left of minus 5 and reach minus 9. So, we see, when we add 2 positive integers, their sum is a positive integer. When we add 2 negative integers, their sum is a negative integer. An ant is moving on a number line. It moves 6 points right from 0 and then comes 2 points back. Where is it at present? It will be at 6 plus minus 2 is equal to 4th point to the right of 0. If the same ant moves 6 points left and then 4 points to the right, then where it will be? It will be at minus 6 plus within bracket plus 4 equals minus 2. That is, second point to left of 0. Now we will learn additive inverse. Suppose the ant walks 3 points from 0 to the right side and walks back 3 points. Where does it reach ultimately? As you can see that it will reach to 0. We add 2 and minus 2. We obtain the sum as 0. Numbers such as 3 and minus 3, 2 and minus 2 when added to each other give the sum 0. They are called additive inverse. For better understanding, we can solve one example. We arrange the numbers so that the positive integers and the negative integers are grouped together. Now let us find the value of minus 10 minus minus 5 using a number line. This is same as minus 10 and plus 5 as the additive inverse of minus 5 is 5. First, we move 5 steps to the right on the number line, starting from minus 10. We reach to minus 5. State the correct statement as true or false. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. The set of integer is z which is equal to, within bracket, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. On the number line, all negative integers lie to the left of 0 and all positive integers lie to the right of 0. The number 0 is less than every positive integer and greater than every negative integer. Rules for addition and subtraction of integers. 1. When two positive integers are added, we get a positive integer. When two negative integers are added, we get a negative integer. When one positive and one negative integer are added, we subtract them and put the sign of the bigger integer. The subtraction of an integer is the same as the addition of its additive inverse.